Welcome back everybody to Tesla Driver. I hope you're doing well. Today we're going out in a new Model X that I've been given that actually has the new software. So this is running 2019.8.4. And I thought we should test out the auto park feature and see if it's been updated or upgraded. So we've got a parking space here on the left that I want to take and it has found it and we are going to give it a go. So I haven't actually tested this yet. I'm not sure how well it's gonna do, but I'm hoping it obviously does very, very well. Now we have got a car behind us that's coming up. So I'm going to obviously just have to do this as slow as the autopilot does. So the only problem again with this is that it's doing it super slowly and there is no way that this would be of a normal speed. So like, for example, we've got cars like that who are happy to drive straight ahead in front of us. I don't know, would the car have stopped? I honestly have no idea. So that would have been quite interesting to see actually. But um, no, the quick answer is auto park still seems to be quite painfully slow for a very normal space this is a like a good wide space in terms of uk parking too and there we go we've reversed back into it um not actually that straight to be totally honest or maybe it's the cars around me but that still took a little bit too long for my liking um but yeah I, was it was it any improvement of what it was before Probably not. This is actually where I recorded the video where the parking failed. It was just in here and it seems quite nice and quiet. So I'm gonna drive through nice and slowly. There's no single spaces here, but I'm intrigued to see if it picks up anything. So obviously I'm going really, really slow here. Is it picking up any parking spaces? No, all right, no parking spaces there. And let's go this way. Are there parking spaces? I'm actually looking to see if there are. Right, okay, there are quite a few down here. So I'm just gonna drive down the middle of the road. I'll let this lady go past. And she's coming up on the dash there, if you saw. Okay, right, we found a space. So let's do that space, shall we? Where is it? Apparently it's quite far back, but we're gonna give it a go. So auto park's on. I hope you can see the screen. Again, I've only got two cameras because the other one is completely dead. Um, so yeah, so I, I thought the outside camera and then this camera would probably be, be, be best. But if I'm being honest, I wouldn't use auto park. God, it's a lot more aggressive this one than mine one was. Like as in it turned, it turned the wheel quick and pushed me out the way. But a lot of people ask about the wing mirrors as well. The wing mirrors do dip down when you start reversing and as you can see, it's moving outwards. So clearly auto park moves that outwards for some reason. I'm not sure why. This isn't my car, so it's not set how I normally would set it anyway. But you know what? It did that pretty smoothly. Oh, we're actually going off angle here. Yeah, that's not straight at all. Is that how it's going to end? Surely not. That's not straight at all. I'm actually on the right-hand side line. Uh, okay, so now the car's deciding to come out again. And apparently it's happy It's happy with that. That said auto park complete. And I'm not gonna lie, I don't know if you can see that in the mirror. Uh, can you actually see that? Look how close that is. That's at a wonky, wonky angle. Okay, well, auto park is still a feature then that needs, well, there's only one way to say it, a lot of work. It does need a lot, a lot of work. It's really not working quite like I would hope it to, or at least it's not working to a stage where I would just use it out and about because that to me is just way too slow to be used out and about. All right, I found a couple of little parallel spaces down this weird road that and I'm not sure what's happening here. There's something coming over the side, but I'm not quite sure what it is. I just wanna see if it's picking up any of these parallel spaces and whether it wants me to park in them. It looks like we're going down to some kind of garage. It's not picking up any of those spaces like they're actually um, parallel parking spaces which is strange because they are. Yeah, it's actually not picked up. Aha, there we go, let's pick one up. There we go, let's give it a go, shall we? So I'm not sure why it didn't pick up the first ones. Okay, it slammed on, then carried on. Not sure why it didn't pick up the first ones, but this one it seems to like. So I'm just gonna give it a go. It says that it's a very tight parking space, but or like at least thin, but it's really not. It slammed on again there. It's, it's being so careful, like it's doing it incredibly slow but it's done it and it's pretty happy with itself. Oh no, it just wants a little correction. And is that it? 
Perfect. Okay, so there you go. There's a quick parallel parking and it did it absolutely fine. So parallel parking, it seemed actually pretty quick at. Whereas when it came to the other kind of parking, uh, was it perpendicular? It kind of um, struggled actually to do that perpendicular park. This guy's just going to walk at his own pace and have a good look at the car. Okay, I don't want to get him wet, but... Right, okay, well, we're going to follow this guy. Yeah, we're, st we're still going to follow this guy. There we go. And here is the Burger King. And does it have those spaces? Yeah, kind of, actually. It kind of does. And I think it actually might even have one little spot in there that we could actually test and go into the middle of. So let's just see if it actually is gonna pick this up at all. So we're going past it now. Is it gonna pick it up? Yes, it did, okay, there we go, it's picked it up. I've just had to slam on so that we could actually get that parking spot. It did that brake thing again, which is odd. I'm just gonna see if it actually does it because I have a feeling from this that it's gonna park just like straight rather than park actually at the horizontal like we should expect it to. So it's, it's getting close, it's getting close. And what we want is that kind of, um, uh, I've got cars just near me as well. So it's kind of doing this weird, confusing thing. And now it's going back out that way. So I'm gonna allow these cars to come through and uh, I'm gonna give that another shot because that really, really didn't work, did it? So what I'm gonna try and do, is there anyone coming? No, there's no one coming. All right, we've got a minute here. So I'm gonna just go forward and see again if it's gonna pick it up. And if it does, we will park into it. Nah, it's not picking it up. All right. I've come into this car park now to try and park in any of these spaces and see if maybe being inside makes it any different, like whether the light's better or something. I'm honestly not 100% sure. No, it's not It's not giving any of these spaces on the right. Aha, there we go. We found one. Okay, let's see then if this is any better. I'm not sure which one this is. Uh, we've got a family coming behind us, so I'm going to stop. And that's it aborted sweet really like it to try and park in this space here on the left but i've got a sneaky feeling it won't i don't know if it's because of that bump ah it's found it okay let's give it a go so now i want to do this one because it's obviously got that bump there that it might hit and make an odd like it may, might make it go a little bit odd or something that i just want to see out of interest but also of course we've got this big pillar that i'm going to be super careful of and apparently the car itself is also going to be super careful of. Now we've got in front of us a couple of uh, ladies with push chairs and I'm just, um, just, one, second, just one second, one second, one second, sorry. Um, and yeah, they've, they've gone the other way, thank God. I didn't want them to come too close, but that's something we can test actually. I can do like an extreme test and see if someone just comes and stands in front of it, what would the Tesla do? Would it? Would it hate it or would it actually work out okay? So again, it's reversing in. It actually has done this fine. It didn't seem to go over the speed hump or anything. So there was no problems with that. And lovely. I'm really struggling finding any of those kind of spaces, the diagonal ones. So what I thought I'd do instead is come down one of these old streets in Swindon or where, you know, an older kind of street in Swindon and see what it picks up and see if we can find any kind of really odd space to, for us to park into. Now down these side roads, there's loads of parallel parking spaces and stuff, but there's, there's just no diagonal ones. I've looked for ages and I simply cannot find them anywhere. If I find one, obviously I'll give it a go, but I just don't have too much hope in that. So we've got spaces here on the left, but these are actually people's driveways, so we can't park in those. Uh, well, we can, because we're obviously just coming straight out, but I'm pretty sure someone would be peed off. So I'm gonna go nice and slow. I'm gonna go down to like the 12 mile an hour mark, and there we go, we found one. All right, sweet. Let's do that parking space. It looks like it's miles away, if I'm being honest, which, which it is. It's really, really far away, but we're gonna go back and try get into that parking space. Now, it actually looks quite a tight space as well, just from like general observation. So how is it going to do? Let's figure out. And we're just coming back into it now. It seems to be doing that fine. And now it's just gonna tuck itself in. You see, for parallel parking, as long as the distance wasn't like as far to reverse as that, I would actually use this system. I really would, it works well. Like, I don't know if that's complete, but that, that's pretty much flawless in my opinion. And a little bit backwards to leave a little bit of a gap each way. You see what I mean? Like, 
it just works really, really well. Again, there's no way of it getting you out of the space. But honestly, if you can't do that, should you really be driving? Now, I'm intrigued to see if it does a right-hand perpendicular or a right-side per uh, parallel park, sorry. Ah, it will. Nice. Let's give that a go. Now, this is actually quite a tight space too. So I haven't actually ever done it on the right-hand side, mainly because I don't drive down roads like this. I don't live in an area that's quite as tight as this. Now, the van behind us has actually parked up on the curb, if you can see. So what's this going to do? Are we going to go up on the curb or are we going to stay off the curb? Because the car in front is not on the curb. And it looks like we are not going on the curb. I'm just going to do my mirror down a bit so I can see because obviously I don't want to scratch the alloys. This car actually has really scratched alloys. So whoever took it out in front and before me really scratched the alloys up. And yeah, it, it did that fine. Absolutely perfect, in fact. I'm not sure why it needed to do that bit and this bit, because it was fine. But, you know, perfectionist and all that. Oh, look at what is coming, guys, on the other side of the road. It's an absolutely beautiful looking Model X. And I'm definitely going to get a, a high five. But I think that was just because I let him through. He didn't seem that excited that I was a Model X. The final thing I want to test is how the Tesla auto park feature works when you've actually got yourself a big ass hill in front of you. So for example, on the right here, this is a very steep hill, like an insanely gradiented hill. And we've got a parallel spot there that I would just love to park in and would normally be quite easy to park in, but how will auto park get it? It didn't, didn't even pick it up. It, it genuinely didn't pick up that parking space and it's not picked up the other one there either. Okay, well that did not go to plan at all. Plenty of parallel spaces to park into. I can see two on the right and two potentially on the left, but is it going to pick any of them up? I'm going slow, we're going eight miles an hour, just looking for that P, looking for that P to park it. Maybe it's too tight on the right hand side for it to park or to, to try and park in one. No, it doesn't want to take up any of those, none of them. That was my GoPro dying at literally the worst time. So you can see here, it's found a parallel space back there somewhere, and it's going to park into it. And I'm going to tell you right now, this parallel space is not a parallel space. There's a road right there with someone's bed out. This is the space it wants. So it's worked fine, but we've now got a car coming, and I better... Thank you all for watching this video. It's a real shame that died last minute, but hopefully this shows you that auto park is still rubbish, in my opinion. It's just nowhere near as good as all the other stuff in the car are. I'm gonna go get that uh, camera that's on the outside quickly because otherwise it's gonna get nicked. I'll see you guys in the next one. Don't forget, drive safe.